the heels are back clicking about the shooting. They brushed out the hair, put on the lung, glossed up the lips, and the war is over. Murdoch said the war is over. It's, it's bad for the Democrats, a war. It's bad for the Democrats. It's bad for Hillary to, to show that the war is going on, and the moron in the White House not only started the war, but also looks like an idiot on the world stage. So now all we hear about is guns, guns, guns control. And, of course, you're going to call about it. I get it. I'm just going off on my own tirade. According to Russia today, the Russian Air Force destroyed an ISIS command center and a training camp. You don't believe that, of course, because uh, America's Asvestia says the Russians are only attacking uh, positions of the, of the good guys who are out to get rid of the bad guys. So you make it very simple for the American people. They could follow you. Assad bad. Those with tight dungarees and iPhones are good. Russia bad. America good. Obama a genius. Now, I hear that um, Kerry's going to get another Nobel Prize, first Nobel Prize, because he gave uh, Iran a nuclear weapon. <laughs> that works. How does that work, that you get a Nobel Prize for giving a terrorist state a nuclear weapon? Obama says Washington is responsible for mass shootings. A visibly shaken president? He didn't look shaken. He looked psychotic to me. He wasn't shaken. He was enraged. It was false enraged. The fraud came out. The invisible man, the thin man came out, goes after guns, goes after Republicans, instead of going after meds, instead of going after the deranged policies of his own, which has caused millions of people to be displaced in the Middle East. God knows how many were killed because of this lunatic's policies. Amazing, huh? It's crazy. So let's start at the top. The president is the problem, not the solution, with regard to almost everything in the world. Where does he stick his nose into a gun debate when even the most radical Supreme Court justice in history, well, the second most, Kagan or Kogan, Colgate, whatever her name was, Lucy Colgert, Colgert, when she said that the Second Amendment is established law. Remember when she was going through hearings, the commie that they found somewhere in Brooklyn? Kogan, Kagan, I don't remember her, Kagan, Kagan. And they grilled her on the Second Amendment. She said, the liberal... The Second Amendment has established Lua. So what is Obama hammering the Second Amendment for? Because he's a failure on every other amendment. He's uh, squashed the First Amendment, the Third Amendment, the Fourth Amendment, the Fifth Amendment, the Sixth Amendment. So now he's got one left, the Second Amendment. If he could, he'd eliminate the entire Bill of Rights. You know, I was thinking about it. You know, you can get crazy about this and make jokes about it. What, what can you joke about? What can you joke about this idiot? I looked him up. We did a little research because it said he came to Oregon from L.A. So I said, really, what was this thing in L.A.? Here we go. Chris Mercer formerly lived in L.A. and attended a school for teens with emotional disabilities. Uh-huh. Records show Harper Mercer lived in a ground floor apartment on Arlington Avenue in Torrance with his mother, Laurel Harper, from 2011 to 2013. The owner of the building said he did not know them and neighbors did not recall them. That's all. Lists of Daily Breeze graduates from 09 showed Harper Mercer graduated from the Switzer Learning Center in Torrance. Switzer teaches students with learning disabilities and emotional issues. Re records show they moved to Winchester, Oregon in 2013. All right, what, what can you make of that? Nothing. Nothing. Profile describes not religious but spiritual beliefs. And linked to a witch group. Yeah, a witch, a witch and Wiccan group. Witches are bad. Many of you listen to the show, witches, I know that, but that's a bad scene. You have no morals whatsoever. If you have no guideposts, you can do a thing like this. You understand what I'm saying to you? This is why when religion dies, a nation dies with it. Okay, what else do you want me to say to you? You know the hero who stopped him? An ex-army veteran, 10 years in the army? Ran at him with bare hands and stopped this piece of human trash? Yeah, he got shot, what, five, how many times? Four or five times and he didn't die? Well, he's got a heck of a life against him, ahead of him. Surgeries, may not walk again. So we, we researched the fact that his family set up a GoFundMe page. His name is Chris Mintz. He's the good guy. We're not talking about the Antichrist shooter who was a mixed-race, teetotaling Nazi. That's right. The shooter was a mixed-race, teetotaling Nazi. I'm sorry if I offend 
uh, teetotalers, Nazis. But the fact of the matter is, he was just like Hitler. He didn't use alcohol. He also looked like he was sexually frustrated, and I'm not going to joke about it. This is the second one in a row now of another loser on a college campus who's sexually frustrated, who starts shooting the, shooting a school up. Which leads me to think, and not so comically, that maybe Obamacare ought to have a checkbox for uh, government-funded sex workers. That for a dollar, you know, uh, like a, a dollar you get one sent by Obama, in order if you feel like killing anyone, check this box and call 1-800-SEX-WORKER, and the government will send someone to take off your tension. I could see that happening under Obama. The hero was shot five times, and he has a GoFundMe page. Oh, it's here. Donate to Oregon shooting hero Chris Mintz. Please go to michaelsavage.com and you'll see his Donate Now page. Maybe I can get you to go to my page by going to, to go to his page. But if you go to michaelsavage.com, I don't make any money off it. I'm not selling anything. You don't have to buy a book or a suitcase or a rug, a toupee, a mustache, a pipe, nothing. You don't have to buy a bong or a, a floor mat or a Bill O'Reilly or loofah, nothing. Go to michaelsavage.com. The second box has a link to the hero, Chris Mintz, shooting survivor who attacked the animal with his bare hands. So far, they've raised $123,000. This guy's going to need millions of dollars. So instead of buying a beer this weekend, you know, send them 10 bucks. Gunman had white supremacy and anti-religion leanings, sources say. That's as far as the um, liberal area times will say. Gunman had white supremacy and anti-religion leanings. No, it was anti-Christian leanings, morons. Obsessed with guns, here we go, and wore body armor and had extra ammo. Oh, that, you know what that is to a liberal when you say body armor and extra ammunition? You know what that does to a liberal on the Upper East Side of New York? If you were to stop a liberal on the streets of New York and just say, sir, what do you feel about body armor and extra ammunition? Can you imagine <laughs> what they must go through? Just asking the question, get you shot in New York. The tax squad will take you down. Anti-government white supremacy leanings. Unclear whether he carried the ammo during the shooting. The attack left 10 dead. I, why do they have to say including Mercer? I have, my feeling about him is he's less interesting to me than the dog crap I picked up this morning. That's what I think he is. He should have been flushed a long time ago. Mercer was obsessed with guns. Here we go, guns again. Let me see how many times, how many times the liberal area uh, uh, times can say guns. Mercer was obsessed with guns, left behind an angry, hate-filled note. It was not authorized to discuss the investigation. The gunman who was killed in a, again, the gun, they worked in the gun in the fourth paragraph. The gunman who was killed in a gunfight, five times now, gunman, gunfight. Instead of psycho who was killed in a psycho fight. Also like to discuss military history. Well, there it goes. They should, they should ban Military History Magazine. And I think all military books should be turned over to the government and burned. Hanlon said to interview neighbors to learn more details about Mercer. Uh, probably he was a loner and he didn't talk to his neighbors. That's all. Didn't talk to his neighbors, a loner. None of the victims of age hears the word gun again. Six paragraph. Gunshot wounds to the abdomen and head. For a man, one was discharged. One had a gunshot wound to the foot. Latest attacks and education, but gun control. Every paragraph now in the, in the liberal area of times is gun. Gun control, guns, gun, gun sale. Six paragraph, person, person, gun sales. Letter to Dice Reed Biden after shooting at Newton County. And the White House failed to push for gun control. I didn't remember to think about how they can get our government to change the laws on guns. Obama said there is a gun for roughly every man, woman, and child in the U.S. How many guns surround him? How many guns protect a thin man? I hope and I pray that I don't have to come out again during my tenure as president. Sounds like a college teacher with tenure. Can we get rid of tenure on campuses and in the presidency? But based on my experience as president, I can't guarantee that because of guns, and that's terrible to say. That's the L.A. Times, which I call the liberal area times. Be right back. Join the Savage Nation. Call now, 855-400-SAVAGE, 855-400-7282. Savage. The Savage Nation is sponsored by Swiss America, the only company I trust with my financial future. Call 800-289-2646 or SwissAmerica.com. There were no traitors in Congress. If they were, they were rooted out by uh, McCarthy and the others. They found them out and they, they ridiculed them and put them in prison. The spies were found. 
So uh, Elvis Presley was king. I mean, it was unbelievable in the world. Uh, Dwight the Eisenhower was president when I was a kid, a war hero as opposed to this one. Can you imagine Dwight the Eisenhower, what he'd be doing right now in the world with Russia, with Syria? God. So the gunman who killed nine people served in the army for a month before being thrown out. That just came out. Oh, yeah. There's a little bit more you haven't heard of yet. The gunman who killed nine people at the Oregon College served in the army for a month in 08 before being discharged for failing to meet administrative standards. Military records showed. Oh, CNN citing law enforcement sources said the animal, the human turd, had left behind writings that showed animosity toward black people. Wow. How, how is that possible? His mother was black. What, what is this? Another self-hater here? See, this is the problem. You have to analyze this from a psychiatric point of view. And I, I'm not going to go into this. Five pistols and a rifle, hate-filled individual, anti-religion. It's not anti-religion, it's anti-Christian. See, right away the news says anti-religion. He didn't say anything against Muslims. Didn't say anything against Hindus or Buddhists or Jews. It was anti-Christian. He didn't have people stand up and say, I'm a Buddhist and shoot them. Now look at the teacher he shot in the head that he started with. He picked out Christian students for killing. He said, good, because you're a Christian, you're going to see God in just a second, said Stacy Boylan, the father of one injured woman, and then he shot and killed him. That's sickening. First, he shot a professor at Point Blank Range. Isn't, what's his name? Was that Mr. Shapiro? Nice guy from New York. Listen to this. I could put the story together in a second. This guy must have left New York years ago, the, the professor, for a quiet life in the boondocks of Oregon. He's teaching a little literature class there, no pressure on him. He likes fly fishing, and this happens. This is unbelievable. He leaves the, the mean streets of New York, gets shot in the head in the, in the boondocks of Oregon. Who are the police officers who killed this piece of turd? The killer died after... I, you know, I always think about the police have the nerve to go in and get into a shootout, and you put them down, you animal, you. You put down police because Eric Holder put in your brains that the police are no good? Who, who else shot this guy? The anti-gunners would have gone in there? Anyway, look, that's the whole story. This is sickening. Nine killed, seven wounded. Timbertown, former Timbertown, 180 miles south of Portland. Little junior college there, nothing. Mercer lived in an apartment nearby. Winchester, number of firearms. Oh, here, a neighbor told the AP that Mercer, quote, seemed really unfriendly, would sit by himself in the dark in the balcony with the, this little light. What kind of stupidity is that? I sit by myself in the dark at night after a show. What do you want me to do, go to a party? I mean, someone could see me at night. They'd say, he sits by himself in the dark with his dog and watches television. Who am I hurting, though? What, what, you don't sit by yourself and watch a TV show at night with a little light on? Everyone does. Savage.